What's good? What's good, my YouTube people? Hey, uh, y'all hit that like, that subscribe, man. Real quick, too, man. I just wanted to do a video, man, and just, you know, talk to my sisters out there and just kind of tell them why. Because I hear a lot of females, hey, you know, where are the real men at? Where are the, where the it, it ain't no more real men and, and real men ain't this. Y'all ain't this and y'all ain't that. So I want to make this video. I'm going to be real quick. Why? You won't be able to handle a real man. Reason why you won't be able to handle a real man. Now, I'm not talking about a provider. Y'all need to go and watch my video, Head versus Provider. Those are two different things. You can handle a provider because that's what you got now anyway, 9 times out of 10. Now, you're going to have a provider. You're not going to have a real man nowadays. Let's Let's be clear about that. That's number one. Number one, you're, you you can't handle a real man. A real man is going to follow God. He's going to follow God. He's going to make sure that he's in tune with God. He done done the necessary things to, to, to get himself in a position to where he hear from God first. He hear from God first, you know, and by hearing from God first, a lot of times, be a no man more than a yes man. Y'all used to be yes men. Y'all used to men with powerful voices, men that can speak. Y'all, y'all, y'all can't handle that. Y'all couldn't, y'all couldn't hit, you couldn't handle that. You, and that's why y'all say, well, hey, it's, it's no longer any real man. Yeah, because y'all used to these providers. Now, by him being in line with God, this is where it's going to happen. This, and this is really why you couldn't handle a real man. A provider puts you first. <laughs> I know you, you can't understand that because that's the norm nowadays. A provider will kill himself to provide for his family. That's all he can do. He can't do nothing else. He puts you first. Now, with this, when this happening, when the provider is putting you first, nine and a half times out of ten, he's going to always put God last. And that's what you like because that's what you're accustomed to. Now, when the real man, he's going to put God first. Now, the, the order of God falls in place. So now, guess where you end up? You're no longer in first place anymore. You have entered in third place <laughs> that's why you couldn't handle a real man because you can't handle being in third place right you see what i mean because it's god man woman children that's the order of god now you can handle that you would not be able to handle a real man because he's going to put you in your place you should be because he going to be in his place where he should be. Most of y'all couldn't handle that because you have to be number one. You have to be even above him. You have to be that. And and guess who exercised your emotions made you feel that way? Society. Society have exercised your emotions and made you feel that you have to be, you have to be number one. You know, even before God. And y'all will take that any day. And these guys are doing that. And that's why you're saying that there's no real man. Because actually, to be honest with you, any man puts you before himself and God is not a real man. And that's what you used to. The reason why I could talk about this stuff I talk about because I'm a real man. And number one, these guys nowadays is not going to acquire the wisdom. That's another thing. That's another thing. They're not going to have the wisdom to be able to even tell you this or talk to you about these things. Neither are they going to have the, they're not going to have the knowledge, the wisdom, and they're, they're too scared. They, I've never seen as many men that scared of women, like, you know, because they're scared they don't, they, they're not going to have any sex and all this old other stuff because his penis is still controlling them. That's why you don't want a real man too. If his penis don't if his penis no longer can control him, you can no longer control him. So when I hear y'all saying real men, you don't want a real man because a real man is going to tell you no 90% of the time <laughs> because he knows better. 
He knows better. A real man is going to tell himself no 90% of the time. Because if he don't, he going to be his biggest downfall. You is going to be his biggest downfall if he don't do that. A real man will put you in your proper place, your proper position, because he's going to be in his proper place and his proper position. You're not going to be able to handle being in third place because guess what? Society told you you're not in third place. They told you you're in first. The court system told you you was in first place. You see what I mean? So you can't, you just can't handle being in third place. You can't handle it. A real man is going to make sure that you be in third place because guess what? Let me show you something. When you're in third place, the order of God places you in first place. <laughs> this the thing that y'all can't really seem to get. Hold on, let me try to get that glare. You in third place, the order of God automatically places you in first because it's only one you. You see what I'm saying? So you have to understand when you in the order, order according to God, you're automatically a winner. When you're not in the order, which they 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 they, they use this trickery to get you to to uh, dumb the order down and tell you that you're number one. That's why you look at the average black home, and that's gonna be another video. You look at the, the average black poetry; it lacks the man and the, the black woman and the, the kids and the boys up there, and they applaud that. They applaud that. They're not complaining about that order because society told them that they're number one. So you see, you see what I'm saying? Just look at the average black family. Look at the average black poetry that I'm not lying. This is not something that I just made up. These are facts. Yeah. Always just pay that some attention. Average black poetry of a family is going to lack the man. And they're, they're excited about that. There ain't nobody complaining about that. Not even the black man. <laughs> so because he already know he was crossed out. He been crossed out from the beginning, so he he that's normal to him. Pay that some attention, but you feel you women that's hollering, you want a real black man. I just want to stop by and tell you, you couldn't handle a real man, cause get what he gonna tell you what I'm telling you, and you're not gonna be able to handle that. You're not gonna be able to handle that, and he and 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 he, he nobody's gonna even listen. Even men acquire this wisdom. Can't handle it. <laughs> you know how I many guys I used to go back and forth with about this stuff? And that's the sad part about it. Because when you don't acquire wisdom, when you haven't fed yourself nothing, you lack as a man. You lack everything. So y'all hit that like, that subscribe button, man. That ain't gonna be. I just, you know, I had to stop by and tell y'all this. Let me go get this work out of here. Y'all quit playing. I got big announcements coming up. Stream that King album. I got two new videos. Dear Hip Hop is doing good. Y'all check that Dear Hip Hop out. Check that Don't Sleep Out, man, video. It's doing great. We killing the game, man. Much blessings.